Welcome to the homework for lesson five. This is module seven of third grade. Name first, please. And we're matching up polygons with their appropriate clouds. So the, they're just different uh, properties of different polygons. And so I'm just going to take uh, one cloud at a time and see uh, which shapes match up. So sides with all shapes with all sides that are equal well square is definitely one of them pentagon it looks like it has different sides the decagon definitely has some lot sides longer than others this regular hexagon it's a thing of with regular shapes that all the sides have to be equal and all the angles also have to be equal and so this regular hexagon definitely has all sides equal and the rectangle doesn't because it has short sides and long sides. And the hexagon has different length sides. So that's the only two. Now all sides are not equal. So that's all the ones that don't have all equal sides. So that's the hexagon, the rectangle, the decagon, and the pentagon. Shapes with at least one right angle. Well, square is a rectangle so it has to have it has four and that's more than one so that's at least one the rectangle I just mentioned has to have four right angles and let's just take a look at these other shapes zoom in on them and see if there are any right angles that are hiding in these shapes pentagons don't have to have right angles I don't see any angles here that look like right angles these are kinda of close but they're not right angles the decagon doesn't have anything that's even close to a right angle. Um, the regular hexagon can't have any right angles. The regular octagon, I'm sorry, I keep calling it a hexagon. The regular octagon can't have any right angles. Um, the hexagon, if we take a closer look at it, well, of course, I got the rectangle already, but let's look at the hexagon. Um... This one is close, but it isn't. It's a little too small, I think. This angle is way too big, too small. This, this would be a right angle, but it's outside of the hexagon. So that's really, this is really a very obtuse angle inside. That's too small. But this one right here, that one looks like it's a right angle. So I'm going to say it is say the hexagon has a right angle. They don't have to have right angles, but that one looks like it does. And then at least one set of parallel sides. Square has all equal sides, so it also has to have parallel sides. The rectangle has opposite equal sides, so it also has to have, at least it has two sets of parallel sides, actually. Um, the pentagon, I don't see anything parallel there. The decagon, I don't see any parallel lines there. The rectangle, of course, already got that one. And the hexagon, I don't see any parallel sides. This regular octagon does. It has a lot of parallel sides because if you look at it, here the top and the bottom are parallel. And that's enough. That's one set right there. But if you keep looking, you'll see that, that, all, the, that all the sides are parallel to another side. So that regular hexagon also counts. The two polygons below are regular polygons. How are they the same and how are they different? Well, they're both regular polygons so that they have to have at least two things in common. All regular polygons have all equal sides. And and equal angles.
the difference is the triangle has three sides and angles. And uh, it's an octagon, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lucia drew the polygons below. Are any of the polygons she drew regular polygons? Explain how you know. Well, they have to have all equal sides and all equal angles. And this one definitely doesn't. And this one doesn't. And that this one has might have equal sides. But are the angles equal? Well... Without measuring, it's really hard to tell. But one of the tricks that you can do is to spin it. Uh, I can't really do that here because um, my the software I'm using doesn't really make doesn't really let me do that. But uh, what you can do is if you spin this, look at this as the bottom, and turn this so that maybe that side is on the bottom, and see if it looks the same when you do it. And then do it again for this side here and make that the bottom. Turn your paper around and then see if it still looks the same. And if you keep doing that for all the sides and it looks like the same shape, it looks the same from every side like that. And that's one way that kind of tell how it looks. Because sometimes when the angles, the same angle when it's upside down or sideways, it kind of just looks different, even though it might be the same. And that's one way that you can just see all the angles with the same orientation. Try spinning that around and see if it all looks the same. And I think you'll find out that it does look pretty much the same, no matter which and no matter which end you use for the bottom as, as you spin your paper around. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to say that this is a regular polygon. So I will say, and this is the only pentagon, right? So it's pentagon has all equal sides and angles. So, it is a regular polygon. Now that's the explanation. Uh, I should say yes. I read. I actually haven't technically haven't answered the question yet. So let me say. Let me just say yes first thing there that's a complete answer